Right, we're in the, well, mid-November here at Growing in Harmony. And despite winter on its way, we've still plenty of work to do. As you can see, we have our little birds here, our little meal for our chickens, our other special little breeds here in the background, and our ducks, who are all waiting to come into lay. The birds as well, further across, they are our little old ladies. Most of them retired from laying eggs at the moment. But they've got a nice little retirement home here, and they've got a nice free range area to wander around in. Across the way, this is the very first of the planting that we do. It's like I say, it's November, but we've been planting broad beans. And come springtime, they should be coming through nicely and providing our very first crops of the spring. As we keep walking round, you will see winter greens growing in these little raised beds. These are radishes, Chinese greens, etc. All sorts of little things that you can actually eat in your stir fries or whatever through the winter. The polytunnel, which Although we're not going to open the door because it is a bit too cold, as you can see, there's plenty of stuff growing in there still. So it means we can actually grow vegetables, fruits, well, some of the fruits, all year round, but a lot mainly is Chinese greens. Just here, we're preparing the land for very early springtime. This will be broken up completely using our old rotavators, and that is where we'll be putting potatoes in the springtime. All this will be filled with potatoes, first earlies and second earlies that will be harvested in the summer and then our main crop for later in the year which you can store. Some of the herbs are still growing as you can see our little herb spiral from the old parsley there with coriander and leaves, mints, you can see, rosemary. They won't last much longer but we do actually we're able to pull them out and we actually feed them to our little rabbits and guinea pigs so they've always got fresh greens. The raised beds some of them are still in full production as you can see there's cabbages, kale, there's, uh, I think there's many cabbages and kale and some cauliflower and leeks in the far one. They're still growing on and they'll be eaten throughout the winter. We've got our beds over there where all the fruit is still exposed. You can see some of the rhubarb that's coming through the tyres. We'll check all that and come the spring, all that will come sprouting through again. It'll be dying off over the next few weeks. Come December, there won't be enough light for anything to grow, but we'll have crops in here that we can actually eat. Moving over there is an area that we're going to be preparing shortly. We're taking all that mud away and that will then have an area underneath it where we've got compost and everything else and that will be turned into a large growing bed. In the background you can see more of the raised beds which have been cleared and we'll be putting crops in those very, very early spring and they will be built up higher with a little layer of compost on that so they're 18 inches deep. Far uh, bed over there, that's more winter greens mustards and everything else and it is beautiful. Walking across this way is some of the work planned over the winter because a lot of it is actually construction work that you will be doing. It's making new chicken houses, it's creating features and also against the shed there is some of the work that's being created for Christmas using recycled wood, making little decorated fair things, trees, snowmen, signs, they can actually put them in gardens once they're painted up, and that is part of the work. Waste nothing at all on site. 